there's so many like moving pieces right now with where the world's at and it's hard to understand if you're going to be racing internationally or not. Yeah, obviously the pandemic has kind of caught everybody by surprise and affected everyone. Um, for a bike racer like me, that's that is my job and you know, when you're not able to do your job, you feel lost. Yeah, I think that like any athlete, it was a really hard transition of that you're pouring your, you know, your heart and, and your, all your efforts are going to being, you know, trying to find your personal perfection. And then on, in a snap of a finger, you have like all this uncertainty and you don't know if your race season's going to happen. And then you find out it's not. And so it was waves of motivation and then waves of lack of motivation. We've all shared how we felt and it's, you know, you're, as, a, as an athlete who is kind of their livelihood to race, um, it's hard to admit that you, you know, don't want to travel to Europe and, and race because that's what you do and that's what you train for and that's what you're paid to do and your sponsors expect you to do. And to actually, you know, be vulnerable and say, hey, like, I'm not comfortable with this, it's really, really hard. So just having other riders around who, you know, feel similarly, it's been, yeah, it's been just really kind of comforting and, and it's a good feeling. I mean, it's been such a weird summer, 2020, with, with nothing on the horizon. So it's just really nice to be able to get together with BCBR and ride and uh, just uh, for some of the sponsors that have supported this race, it's nice to be able to put together a race and give everyone a taste of something, you know, some hope and something to look forward to. And uh, uh, we're, we're having a lot of fun and hopefully we'll see everyone next year. I've done BC Bike Race three times, always with a partner. It's just a totally different energy level from doing a World Cup. World Cups, you're very intense. It's all about how to recover properly, your proper course prep. And it's very focused and dialed and very kind of insular within your team. When I go to BC Bike Race, I can be camping in like a field with a whole bunch of people. It feels way more like the reason I got into riding. Um, it's hashing out the stories from the race that day and everyone's got a good story. It's chilling out on the lawn in the sun after a race and just sharing stories over a meal. So yeah, it's just it's just fun and, and I really enjoy the co-ed aspect too. Um, just being out there and riding with guys, making new friends, you find out who's your speed while you're racing and yeah, it's just kind of an adventure together. Yeah, BC Bike Race really, uh, a lot of our success is just um, followed the, the uh, trajectory of uh, mountain biking in British Columbia. So it's a lot different now riding in British Columbia than when we first started. There's a lot more trail in inventory, a lot more single track, and uh, subsequently we've evolved. COVID uh, gave us a bit of a, a fast track evolution here. Events, you know, they'll be back, and I, 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 uh, I hope people just keep confidence in that event organizers, not just BC Bike Race, but they're figuring it out. We're all figuring it out. So yeah, so overall, I'd say the difference in the BC Bike Race going forward is that um, we're tightening up the logistics around the event, longer time in each base camp, less base camps, multiple days in uh, a town. So yeah, so more, same or more single track, less travel, uh, less logistics. Sometimes what you find when you have to make change, like we did, is um, some great things you discover. And in redesigning, um, we'll call it BC Bike Race, almost 3.0, an, an opportunity to introduce a new community. So uh, the Fraser Valley and Chilliwack and Vetter and Cultus Lake, you know, how keen they are to have us and how much, uh, you know, that's an opportunity to show something new. The first big events that come through town are going to be really, really exciting, not for us, just 
specifically, but for all the different communities and especially some of the small ones. And, you know, despite the shore being right next to two million people, we are a pretty small, tight-knit community. And it's going to be really good to see people coming, visiting, doing some kind of more normal things. And I think events like BCBR are a great way to do that because you're a bit spread out on the trails. You're, you know, you might be camping at the event. It's, it's a great way to have some of that community feel and still do it in a socially acceptable, safe manner. Um, so really excited to see those events start to happen and knit people back together as it's been, it's been a really challenging year for a lot of people. Let's make some noise for Katarina Nash. Yeah. Rocking the cartwheel right down to the podium. You gotta love it. And I'm sure Katarina's got probably a closet full of uh, yellow BCBR jerseys. I uh, just want to say uh, really thanks very much for giving us your time and your energy because uh, we, we couldn't do what we do without the people we have. Um, these are really the weirdest, toughest times ever. And I know we're all just trying to get back to a normal sort of state of business. Um, so really appreciate your athletic time. Um, but yeah, really it's... Uh, it's been a great week. It's been super uh, stressful, hard organizing, but uh, you know I couldn't really imagine a better finish than a little champagne and a good bunch of people. So again, thanks very much. It's been amazing, and I'm looking forward to 21 and getting back to normal. Yeah. Thank you. Anything you'd add to uh... add about everything? Yeah, well, thanks, dude. Fucking way to keep things going. Yeah, you and Dean of really created something pretty magical and I'm so grateful to be a part of it. I really, really acknowledge you and Dean for what you guys have done. It's, it's like, those things don't come up very often in our lives and I don't think anywhere in the world. So yeah, a lot of kudos. I, you know, I, I had full faith that something would happen. I didn't know it would last this long or create this, this much success, you know, as far as touching so many people internationally around the world yeah it's 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 very cool thanks bro yeah been involved with bc bike race for 14 years since the very beginning uh well i think that we allow ourselves at the end of the race to feel a little bit vulnerable and emotional because uh we put on the tough guy face all week to make sure that they can lean on us but at the end it's a big huge sigh of relief and you watch somebody cross the line these people in general who who come here and didn't know what they were up against until they got here but when they at one point in the race they flick a switch and they say I'm gonna make it and then all our work goes into helping them make it and then when they cross the line it's incre incredibly gratifying Andreas it's incredibly gratifying and admittedly I've shed some tears over the years to, to see some people and uh, yeah it's, it's, it's awesome it's an amazing feeling and you become part of their success and it makes me feel like a racer sometimes even though I don't have that racing bone in me it makes me feel like wow I see what they're into here I see what drug they're taking <laughs> it feels good <laughs> yeah it's fantastic yeah I just I, I just want this thing to never stop I think that uh, BC bike race is now a part of mountain biking lore globally it's a brand that people recognize whether you're from Europe, South America, North America, or right in our own backyard in, in British Columbia. And it's something that uh, is, is, uh, is really important to me and to you know, most British Columbians who mountain bike. They know our brand, they, they, they associate what we do with spreading the word to the rest of the world about how awesome this place is to ride. And uh, it, it's something that uh, we, got, we got to work hard and keep going in the right direction despite what's going on in the world, we're gonna survive this and do awesome going forward. I think it's important. I, I would say, if you're thinking of signing up for BC Bike Race, do it. You know, it, it helps us organize your fun. The more lead time we have, the better, obviously. But just, um, you know, we, we appreciate the support and uh, we can uh, do our jobs when we know who is coming to our party. So if you're on the fence, I would say um, don't hesitate. We're, we're here, we're working hard, we're being creative. We're, we're, our goal is always to blow your mind and give you your best week of your life on your bike. And um, we know that we will see everybody with their belt buckle down the line. 
and uh, yeah, do it. Yeah.